Hey guys, Mike Vice Point on I'm back again. I'm gonna do some reviews for you on behalf of my sponsors and Lion Bear Vapes. Uh, you're good enough to drop off some juice, and once again I'm gonna share them with you. You can find YM and Vapes on the web at ymvapes.com. You can find them on Instagram at YM and Vapes. You can find me on Instagram if you're interested at Mike Fives.09. And uh, you can find them on Facebook, YM and Vapes. So uh, before we get into the juice review tonight, I got a couple little pieces of hardware, a few things I've picked up in the last little while from them that I just thought I'd share. The first is uh, the Dead Rabbit RDA. So this RDA is proof that you don't need to spend a fortune to get a really nice piece of hardware. So if you're uh, if you're on a vape budget or, uh, or if you just don't feel like spending a load of money, this is a great addition. So it was around 30 or 35 bucks. Uh, great build deck on it. Tough to tell because I have cotton in there, but you can kind of see it's a really low profile. It's almost a postless. Uh, they call it a rabbit ear post. Uh, it's got really nice airflow, good flavor off it. It's similar to the V Dot Drip Pro, uh, a little less restrictive, and you can uh, do full adjustment. Twist the cap, you can pinch your air off and choke it. So that's nice. Uh, also comes with these sweet uh, acrylic tips. You know, that's a nice addition. A lot of these high-end uh, RDAs that you buy, you buy a Goon or you buy uh, a Kennedy, you're just getting a pretty stock Delrin, maybe a stainless steel drip tip, but nothing really fancy. So this is nice. For a cheap price, you're getting a really nice quality RDA. You're getting uh, a nice acrylic drip tip, a little bit of unique, uh, something different anyway. It's, it's kind of a nice hat for that price. So I was really impressed with it. I've been vaping on it for about a week. And uh, straight up, I love this. It's a great RDA. Nice one to have in my collection. Uh, so next, what do we got? OBS Cheetah 2. Another RDA I've been vaping here for a while. I picked it up about a month ago. Uh, it's got a really unique deck too, uh, in the way that you open and close it. So the top screws are obviously same as normal. You thread them out of the post hole. The bottom ones are actually a drop down, so they're offset. So when you put your coils in, you don't have to twist or bend them too much. You don't have to manipulate them very much to get them in nice and centered. Uh, and it's super easy to build on. Great uh, juice well in it, lots of room for cotton. And it's a really nice vape. It's definitely comparable to a Goon. And the same kind of thing. I think this was 40 bucks. Nice and cheap. Great, uh, great production out of it. I'm totally happy with it. I use it quite often. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to go was this little beauty. So it's not the, they've been at YMM for a little while here, but I thought it's worth mentioning. Uh, the Wiz Tip, acrylic drip tips made here in Edmonton, I do believe, and uh, great quality. The finish is great, the fitment is on point, and uh, it looks beauty. So check one of them out too. Okay, so I guess we'll get on to the juice reviews now. So what we have here is a line called Two Stroke. Uh, made by Vape Haven, I believe. Yeah, it's produced by Vape Haven. Uh, I did a little poking around on Instagram. I see that they share the same profile picture as Cloud Haven, so I would uh, assume that they're tied together. Uh, if you vaped anything from Cloud Haven, you know, on point. They have great juice. Every profile I've tried from them has been great. And uh, they're one of the companies that I go back to, so I'm happy to be trying these ones. So what we got here is number 31 and number 13. 31 is a lemon sucker, hard candy, or lollipop, and 13 is a white gum, so tropical uh, pineapple white gum. So I'm looking forward to these. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty partial to the lemon. I will say uh, I cheated and I was vaping these last night, so I'll have to act surprised for you. But uh, I was looking forward to the lemon the most, and I ended up liking the gummy more, I think, so nice, uh, nice surprise there. So anyway, let's go ahead and drip this. I'm vaping on my B-God with my OBS Cheetah 2. Got a pretty nice Trinity glass tip there as well. Real nice fitment on those. And uh, sharp and stuff up. Looks great. Have a little drip here. So I'll mention, as soon as you pop the cap off this, this, this the aroma of it is... It took me right back to being a kid at Halloween. You get to the end of your candy and the bottom of your pillowcase or your bag and what did you have left? those suckers in the clear wrapper. So I wasn't so excited as a kid, but I'll admit I'm pretty excited to vape it as an adult. It's a pretty nice uh, little bit of nostalgia for sure. So let's give her a pop.
that shit is making my mouth water. That's such a juicy bait. Like that lemon's looking for a fist fight. It's right in your face. And it's right on point. It really is what it, it's what it's supposed to be. They're saying it's a lemon lollipop or a lemon sucker or hard candy. But that's exactly what it is. It reminds me of, you know, when you did get to those suckers and you just decided to eat them anyway. You'd stick one in your mouth. You get bored of it and you chew it up just to get it over with. Well, that's what that's like. It's like chewing the actual candy. And it's, uh, it's right on point for sure, like I said. I can't... Uh, Yeah, I can't really say too much else about it. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's just as uh, just as advertised. So we got a, a great lemon hard candy. So we'll try the next one. That's a really loud flavor, I will say. It is strong. It's right in your face. As soon as you open it, like I said, you can smell it. As soon as the vape hits your tongue, it's just lemon all, all in your face. So let's try 13. This is the white gummy. The pineapple, tropical citrus type deal. Uh, I'm going to vape on my Minikin 1.5, old school. This is a war horse, this one. Uh, OG goon on top and that beautiful whiz tip that I was talking about earlier. So, we'll have a drip, two stroke, number 13. So, I haven't vaped a ton of white gummy. And the last time I did, I wasn't real crazy on it. It was okay. Like, I baked the whole bottle, but I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't bonkers about it. I didn't rush out and buy another bottle, so I was pleasantly surprised with this. It's a, it's a pretty nice contrast to the light, so. So if the lemon's looking for the fist fight, the gummy bear's kind of talking you out of it. It's a way more subtle laid back kind of taste. It's not so in your face. It's not so such a heavy flavor in your mouth. I mean, the pineapple, the, the tropical flavors definitely are coming through, but it's a nice light vape. It's not, uh, it's, it's not heavy. I don't know what else to say. Uh, compared to the lemon, it's just such a thick, heavy flavor. It feels dense in your mouth. Where the, the white gummy is just kind of cruising around. It's nice and easy and it's, uh, it's nice. Gotta gotta wait for a second. On on initial vape, you don't really get that. You get the sweetness, but you don't really get that pineapple. It takes a second, and, and on exhale is when it really shows up. It's uh, it's just kind of like an explanation point. On a nice smooth sweet vape, and then pow, you got a bit of pineapple or a bit of tropical fruit there. Both of these juices are really nice vapes. Um, the, the lemon's pretty sweet. I don't know if I would say it's an all-day vape, but it's something you could bounce back and forth to definitely all day long. Uh, the gummy, on the other hand, you could, I think, vape it all day. And I spent more time vaping it than I did the lemon, which is uh, not a shock, but uh, I was expecting I was expecting to lean more to the lemon. So, both really good juices. Uh, I definitely say go into YMM if you're not sure and try them out. They're in the midst of getting some sampling, uh, some tanks set up and some RDAs we're going to put together. So you guys can start dripping and tasting them there. Um, so that'll make life a little bit easier. So if you're not sure, go on and try them out. Two stroke, great juice. Uh, also try out that Cloud Haven. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You're not going to be unhappy with any of those profiles. Absolutely good juice. So, and it's out of Alberta again. So, I mean, why not? It's great juice, and it's a uh, local local guys making them. So it's a uh, it's good news all around. Anyway, so we got two great juices. We got YMM give me the great juice to share with you, so you got to say thanks to them for sure. Um, so before I let you go, actually before I get too far ahead of myself, I will say we got two winners again. Uh, Thirteen all day, thirty-one definitely good juice as well. Uh, check them out. So okay, coming down the pipe here, we got a few different ones coming up. I got uh, a bunch of different sub sauce profiles. We're gonna do before I got number one. Number two and number four. Uh, I had it written down here somewhere. The profile. So here we go. So number one is a strawberry with four kinds of cream. Uh, number two is a sugar cookie with butterscotch and graham cracker. And number four is a hazelnut custard. And I'm looking forward to that for sure. So uh, 
What else we got? Uh, we got the Pixie Dust Line. So we got a couple, three different profiles there for you. We got the cake, we got the blue, and we got the donut. All really good, high quality juice. And we got some Project Boom Juice coming. Uh, some of my favorite profiles. We got the Morning After. I believe I've done that before. So we'll do the other three. There's uh, High Noon Hustle. Sunset Rendezvous and uh, Moonlit Masquerade. Three great profiles, really unique flavors, so I'm looking forward to sharing them with you as well. And I think that's it. I will say uh, if there's some juice that you want me to review, uh, you're not sure about buying, definitely uh, get in touch with YMM and let them know that you, uh, that you want to see a review. And I'm sure we can make that happen for you. So uh, other than that, I think that's all. So you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, take care of each other, play safe. And uh, keep chucking them clouds, guys. Talk to you later.